Hello and welcome. Operations research, game theory, two players or two persons, zero sum game. And now we are going to discuss a case of a game without saddle point or a game having no unique saddle point. This is the game. There are two players, A who is assumed to be a gainer and B who is assumed to be a loser and this is the payoff matrix, profit matrix for A and loss matrix for B. Now first of all let's try to find out the saddle point as if we don't know anything about the saddle point and for that purpose first we have to find out the row minimum. In the first row A1 the minimum is minus 7. In the second row A2 minimum is minus 6. And in the third row A3 minimum is 6. And out of all these minimum values we need to find out the maximum value. And that is 6. Now the next point is or rather next step is column maximum to find maximum value from each and every column. In the first column the maximum is 9. In the second column maximum is 8. And in the third column maximum is 7. Now from this maximum values we need to find out the minimum value. The maximum value in the column of row minimum is known as maxi min. That is short form of maximum of the minimum. And on the other hand, the minimum value from among the column maximum is known as minimax. That is the short form of minimum of the maximum. Is this the situation? of maximin equals to minimax? No. Because maximin value is 6 which is situated at A3, B1 strategy A3 for A and B1 for B while the minimax value is situated at A3, B3 that means strategy A3 for A and B3 for B. So, the min, maximin and minimax values are not situated at a single geographical point of the payoff matrix. That means there is no unique saddle point. Because ultimately saddle point is a geographical point where the gain of A and loss of B are at the same point. So, in this particular game, there is no unique saddle point or this is a game without saddle point. This is the proof of it. That's it. Thank you very much. In the forthcoming videos, we are going to discuss how to decide strategies of the players or competitors in case of a game without saddle point and how to find out the value of a game without saddle point. Because if the game has no unique saddle point, we cannot find the value of the game just only on the basis of the maximin as well as minimax values. Hence, we have to use other method or methods. In the forthcoming lectures, we are going to discuss all about such kinds of situations. That's it. Thank you very much.